Now, this is not one that I've been looking forward to. Electrics are coming on in the bus and it's starting to work. It's starting, things are starting to get spot on. Really chuffed, but <sighs> cigarette lighter in the dash, you know, with T5, that pull out thing. Should just be a standard fuse, right? <sighs> no. Today, I'm gonna hunt it down. I'm gonna find it and fingers crossed, fix it. Okay, so inside the dash, yeah, bog standard, T5, pull out, we've got some nice cup holders, really useful, and somewhere that you can put some coins, I guess, if, or if you are a smoker still, good luck to you, but you know, you can still use it in an ashtray. And then we have the wonderful, wonderful pull out 12 volt DC socket. Now, I'm pretty sure that when I picked up it, that this outside ring was working. I don't know, but with maybe with messing with the electrics and then this stuff that's been done, this is now fused out. So you'd think that it should just be a simple case of pull the fuse from underneath, swap it out, jobs are good. Now, various points in various forums, I've looked on at T4 Forum and Brickyard, etc. It just says that all you need to do is pull out fuse cover and it should just be position 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So third one from the end. Let's try pulling that one and show you what we've got. Third from the end. And there it is, 15 amp fuse, as you would expect to see. I'll put it on that background, you may be able to see that that is absolutely fine. There's no break in that at all. So I've also seen on some of the forums say about the fuses are underneath the seats. Hmm, okay. Here we have the underside of the seat and in the seating box, I know there's nothing in there because I fitted a swivel base. So the next thing to do is to have a look at taking the eight retaining bolts out and then we'll get the plate out, the swivel plate out, and then we'll see if we can find any cables underneath. Let's give it a go. One of the beauties of the, uh, the T5 is obviously the space, the long wheelbase. Um, you can just do this. I know it's not the most elegant, but at least it's now accessible. We've got the plate moving about. We've got access to the last few holes, I think I'll use the extension back on that to get to those. Yeah, these are a little more tricky to get to because they're the access plate, the securing plate that the base plate spins on, is quite tight tolerance to the actual Where that's loose. I'll come back to that one. We'll go to this one. Hopefully, with loosening these, it should enable us to get access to it. I tell you what, I blooming well hope it's down here after all this. I'm so glad I picked such a jolly warm day to do this now. So glad, so glad indeed. Today is Sunday in June. It's Sunday in June. And it is jolly, jolly, jolly warm. The weather reporters are talking about this being the hottest 
period or the hottest time since for 176 years. What a great day to be outside doing mechanics. Well, actually, do you know what? It's a damn sight better than being sat at a desk today. But not as good as surfing. Yeah. Okay. One left. So that's one plate. Jolly heavy plate on my side. And released. Okay. Now then, we do have a recess in the carpet here. With sure enough some cables going in and around here. What I don't know, what I can't tell. Oh. Oh. Come with me, have a look. See if you can tell me where they are. Um. Okay, so we've got my split charge cables coming up, which is obviously not the one. What else have we got in here? Anything? There is loose plates, but they could be protected because of these uh, expansion or risers, I guess. So I wonder if there's anything in these channels. These just look like these just look like. Whoa, sorry, these just look like means to protect and curve cables. What's this? I'm going to just lift all this up and see what I can get. Well, I don't know if you've seen under a T5 carpet before, but there you go. So I think we're safe to say there are no fuses down here. Damn it. Okay. Oh joy! Oh joy of joys! The fun of car mechanics. A bit disappointing that it uh, wasn't actually under here, but not giving up just yet. Still a couple of other places we can try. We've got an escapee. Sound the alarm! They've got a runaway. So let's see what we've got for One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, there you are. How did I manage that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Cancel the alarm. Right, let's get these in. I just realised this is probably an awful view of my armpit. I do apologise. I should have tried this one first of all. Looks like it's a little bit easier to get to. No idea, because I have no cards. What I do have though, it's remarkable, still a fuse puller. Let's give it a go. I think 15 amp is most likely, but that one's intact. Because I don't know which is which, I'm just going to be pulling random fuses and see if I can see any sign of breakage. Right. It's none of the fuses. 
which leads me to think we've got a broken cable somewhere. Well, that's going to be fun to trace. Been around, checked all the fuses, nothing. I literally pulled every single fuse out of the dash. And coming back to the cigarette lighter, what I've found is, I'd give it a little bit of spin. I don't know if you can see there, I'm getting a little bit of light coming from this adapter. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Really infinitesimally small. So there we go, see the light flash? So I'm thinking, if I just get rid of that the corrosion in there, get some sandpaper in, see if we can clean it up, try again. After all that, what a new This is it. Aha! Still not right then. Still dipping in and out. In certain positions. Needs to be on the right track. Right, right, right. So, acid test. Get an iPhone. Ready. In we go, and we're charging. Oh, oh my God, that's bonkers. That is absolutely bonkers. Can't believe how long I've gone without this. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. Oh yeah, all the cabling, had all that out, just uh, that's all the stereo stuff. I'm gonna put the stereo back in at some point. But I wanted to get the base electrics sorted first of all, and um, that's another step towards it. So that can all go back into there when I can get a head unit and screen installed, or even get my iPad conversion done. We shall see. But for now, I've got working power. That's awesome. Hope that's been uh, useful to you. Um, yeah, just have a look, see if you can just send out the contacts first of all, and then save yourself a whole load of bother. If you like what we're doing, then do please click subscribe. That'd be really useful. Helps us grow and helps its adventures. Oh yeah, that's what I'm going to be uh, starting to have a go at. Starting to have a go at a new website and I try and just put some of the stuff that we use and some of the stuff that we do on the site and then if you like it, it'll be useful for you. If you would, just in the comments let me know what you think. Do you prefer more of the travel stuff that you've seen earlier or do you prefer more of these uh, fix it up? Um, Believe me, there's a lot more fix up to come, but also I do want to do a lot more traveling as well and see what we can find and explore and all that kind of good stuff. But for now, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe. See you later. <laughs>